Cancer, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot, and this is your general love reading for December 2021. We're going to see what's going on with you guys. If it resonates, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload these readings for you, Cancer. Um, I'm available for personal love readings should you guys need one. Stick around to the end. I have a few cards I'm going to get from the Astro Advice Oracle deck. It's very similar to my Axe the Universe Oracle deck. So if you like that one, you sure will like this one too. Um, so yeah, you don't have to ask any questions, but it gives you advice on any situation that you're dealing with. So stick around to the end. I'm going to pull three cards from here. All right, and your extended bonus reading for December is off on Vimeo. What is this person not revealing, okay? What are they not revealing at this time? All right, so let's jump right in, Cancer. Let's see what messages pop out. Cancer in love. Cancer, Cancer's in love. One more good shuffle. All right. Messages for Cancer. Messages for Cancer. What is the challenge for Cancer's? Oh, the sun. I like it. This card is almost like blinding me. Cancer, I love it. The happiest card of the tarot deck. The sun. Some of you guys are dealing with the Leo. There could be something coming out. There could be something that is being revealed, illuminated, right? The sun brings clarity. It brings hope, right? There could be something here that is being healed, okay? But I'm seeing coming to the surface, okay? Something being revealed. There's something here illuminated. You now see very clearly, okay? All right, let's see what the current energy is. Oh, the chariot. Whatever you're becoming clear about, it's allowing you to move forward and be victorious, okay? So there could be something here that you're taking charge of your life, Cancer. We have the emperor in reverse and the ace of cups. Now, some of you, you are moving away from someone here who wasn't willing to take charge of the connection. The emperor is someone who doesn't make good decisions. It's like you rely on them, but they let you down, okay? There could be someone that you're moving away from and you're ready for new love coming in, okay? The Ace of Cups could be a new love offer. It could be a love being offered to you, okay? It's it's a beautiful um, new beginning full of love, emotions, cancer, right? <laughs> it could be another water sign who just knows how to love you um, at the core. Someone who's very emotionally available and loving and open and vulnerable, right? So cancer, that's your energy. You're moving forward. All right, let's see. Give me the recent past, okay? Recent past is the king of cups. It could be your energy. We have the five of cups and the two cups. I'm mean, sorry, in the lovers. I'm sorry, it looks like the two of cups. It's the lovers. Gemini energy. So in the past, it looks like um, there definitely was a really strong connection here. I feel like some of you can't, you had to make a decision about a connection because there was some kind of hurt, disappointment, regrets, okay? Um, five of cups could be your energy, your person's energy. Someone feels some kind of way about how they handled a past situation. There could be something here regarding... You know, I didn't act my best. I was out of character. Um, I, I'm i disappointed in my own actions, okay? So there's something that happened in the past where someone is definitely um, definitely disappointed, okay? They may have certainly spilled some cups over regarding you. And I feel like cancer, whoever this is, it's like they may have not appreciated your love because you were in that king of cups energy. You were loving and forgiving and nurturing. And, you know, some of you guys with the king of cups, he's not as nurturing, but he definitely has the capacity to love. And I do feel like you loved hard. All right, let's see what the energy is for you. Magician, manifesting, okay? The strength card in reverse, and we have the knight of cups in reverse. So um, there is an energy of you guys creating, creating your own path, creating your own journey. It could be something that you're pulling away from. Maybe you're not as confident that it's for you anymore. The knight of cups came out in reverse as well. So there could be someone that you're holding back because maybe you're afraid. Maybe you're afraid to love this person. Maybe you feel like they really disappoint you. They let you down. There's been a lot of challenges and you've kind of given up on that. But there is something here that Someone cancer may be wanting to manifest or create change with you. Um, this could be about you manifesting this person back, okay? Manifesting a situation, manifesting change with regard to a situation that was challenging. In the environment, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Four Pentacles, we have the Temperance in the verse, and why this is happening is the Page of Wands in the verse. So I do feel like there could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming in. It could be someone here who has a lot to say. 
maybe they've been holding things back because we do have the four pentacles coming right next to it so there could be someone here who's been holding back themselves um being stingy with their time their energy their efforts right may have not been reaching out to you much at all but it's almost like all of a sudden they come rushing in okay I'm getting a rushing in very impulsive um a lot may have been let, left unspoken um and i feel like there's someone here who may not be as confident as you may think but they're coming in rushing with that knight of swords to give you impression that they are uh, i feel that temperance and versus speaking about cancer a situation that someone has really truly given up on okay they've lost patience someone here could have anger issues temper issues but i think this is really about i've given you plenty of time i've given you all of me i've given you everything and it's almost like you didn't know what to do with it so i feel like cancer this is you deciding you know what i'm going to now this Eight of Cups is coming in. This could be you moving on to new love. And someone here may be coming to rush in because they feel like their time is up. That's what I'm seeing. Time is up. And the Page of Wands in verse, they may not know how to move things in a new direction with you. Right? Because I think the Cancer... You're seeing the light, okay? You're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. You're healing. You're recovering. You're letting go. Maybe there's a new opportunity coming in for you. Now, we have the Two of Cups. We have the King of Wands. And we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Definitely is a really strong connection that keeps reappearing in your life, Cancer, um, whether you wanted to or not. It's like you can't get away from something. And I think that the Cancer, um, Cancer, the something I'm seeing regarding not knowing the truth, not knowing the truth, hearing the truth, not getting the truth. Ace of Swords in reverse. There's someone that you're dealing with that has been holding back. And some of you guys, you may feel, um, I can't see a future with you because I just don't know what I'm getting into. I can't really see very clearly happiness with you because I just don't think you're very honest. I don't know if you told me, if, if everything you told me were lies. I don't know if I can trust you, right? The King of Wands is here. So there could be a really passionate connection you have with someone, Cancer, but it's almost like, I don't know if I can see the light at the end of the tunnel with you because I just don't know what I'm getting, you know? And so, um, yeah, there's definitely a really strong connection that keeps a free pair in your life, but it's like, I don't know what to do with it. And so, Cancer, your challenge is to see something the way it truly is so let's get some clarity and let's start off there let's start off with that sun so if this is your reading cancer like share comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i upload this is going to be a long reading you guys okay i'm just letting you know my readings over the last uh, <laughs> couple of days have been like 20 minutes so um, I'm going to really get into this reading. I'm going to give you as many messages as I can. All the messages will not resonate for you. It just will not cancer. Take what resonates and leave the rest. I do read for a lot of you guys, okay? But I'm going to go in on this. What is the sun about? What is this? Oh, the full card came out in the verse, okay? Give me one more card. Aries energy and a ten of cups in verse. See, cancer, the, the challenge for you guys is to see beyond something, okay? And I feel like there's something coming up in your life right now, cancer, and you may not trust it. The full card came out in the verse. You don't trust whoever you're dealing with or a situation, and it could be because of someone here letting you down. Ten of cups in verse. You've disappointed me. You've hurt me. You've left me in this place of feeling so confused and drained. You made something so complicated. There's someone here in your life who is not brought happiness to your life and now there's the energy of you fighting through that moving forward and getting clarity and healing but there's something here that reappears in your life and now you're having to the challenge is to see if this is something that you even can can you move forward with right the full universe is this opportunity trustworthy so let me see what the chariot is about why is the chariot here for the current energy eight of cups and the three of pentacles See, the current energy is telling me that you guys are still um, letting go. You're walking away from something here that has not made you happy. Ten of Cups in verse. The Eight of Cups is walking away, getting to your Ten of Cups. So, Cancer, you know your Ten of Cups is out there. And you may not necessarily see it with someone particular in your life, right? Some of you guys, you are dating. The Three of Pentacles could be maybe someone that you met at work recently. They could be someone in the work field, someone like a friend of a friend, I'm hearing. You could be walking away and moving to get to know this other person. And this could be really, really a great opportunity for you to meet other people. Because we do have the Ace of Cups, right? We have a new offer of love. Cancer, you're not in a place where you may be able to finally offer love after going through a period of holding back your cup now give me clarity on the emperor see whoever this emperor is <laughs> look at the energy associated with this emperor in a verse so whoever this emperor is and they're coming out in a verse because they just haven't done right by you they haven't really um they really disappointed you they, had, they never really brought you structure or stability this is someone you cannot trust you can't rely on and what i'm also seeing with this 
emperor energy is that this is someone who just brings conflict, drama, confusion, five of swords, right? They leave you in your head getting headaches. And this is someone who just brings um, a lot of energy of defeat to your life. And so there's something that you're letting go, the devil in the verse. I'm cutting ties with this. I no longer want to hold on to this energy because it just brings too much conflict and despair. And so I see that there's something you're letting go, walking away from, uh, maybe you're releasing and cutting ties with this person from the past. Now, what's this Ace of Cups? What do we need to know about the Ace of Cups? See, a beautiful connection is coming in, Cancer. A beautiful connection is coming in for you, this new beginning. But there's something about you questioning the stability. You questioning, is it right? Is it, am I, am I ready for it, right? Am I ready to contribute and build with this person? So there could be someone coming in, but you may be holding yourself back. You may be holding yourself back. It could be something in your life holding you back. And if you're actively removing yourself from a past situation that could be toxic, you may not be in the best position to give to a new connection right away. Okay, so there's something about you letting go in order for this new opportunity to come in. It's coming in. Don't worry. You're not going to miss it. It's coming in. You certainly can miss it if you continue to hold on to this, though, right? So give me the recent past energy. Why is the five of cups? There's some kind of regret regarding a situation in the past, the way it happened. Um, you know, maybe there were some things that were said, things that were done. I'm not proud of, you know, that kind of energy. Five of cups, what is this about? The star in reverse and the ten of swords. There's someone that you lost hope on. You you hope you lost hope in, you you give it up on because they put you in this ten of swords. You've hit rock bottom with them. They betrayed you, they devastated you, they've left you feeling like you've hit rock bottom, right? Ten of swords, an ending, a closing of a cycle, right? And the star in the verse is that you guys don't no longer have hope and wishes and desires that something here could be repaired. Simple as that. Because I'm getting it got too bad. Okay, I'm just getting the damage. There was too much damage done. Now, what is this lovers about? The decision that was made, the five of wands, the eight of swords, and the king of pentacles in reverse. Now, there was someone here that maybe you were tied to, maybe in some kind of codependent connection, okay? Maybe be, you're still tied to this person, which is why it may be difficult to accept this new beginning in right now because it's like you're still feeling tied, stuck, bound to the situation. Now, certainly if you were married to this person, that could be it. Maybe you had assets with them. Maybe you have children with them. And there is an energy of wanting a new beginning moving forward in your life, but still feeling like I can't seem to cut ties with this damn person. And so there's something a lot, um, a lot of resistance here. Five of Wands could be fighting it and fighting it. Um, some of you guys, you were, you were fighting to uh, prove your worth to this person, okay? But I think that what I'm seeing in the past is that this is something that was really difficult for you to cut ties with and let go. Um, there was a lot of feeling mentally bound, physically bound, okay? And um, whoever this person is, I just don't see that they were bringing you the security, the stability, the commitment that you wanted. So I see you manifesting, Cancer. Why is a magician card? It could be a Gemini here. Okay, the four wands in verse and the nine of pentacles in verse. So I see that something here, um, the fact that you, when you hit rock bottom, okay, cancer, you're using that pain, that um, energy to now manifest what you want. Because the four wands in verse is where everything kind of comes crashing down. Your home life feels like it's not put together. Everything is in shambles. But I see that you guys want want real partnership, right? You want someone who you can build upon with, not just like passion and excitement. No, you want someone that you can grow with. Nine of Pentacles and verse, someone that you can build a very secure life with. Now, what I am seeing is the Knight of Cups. It's coming out in reverse here. Some of you guys may be unsure if you're ready to offer your cup. What's this about? The Justice card. Well, damn. Okay. You know what, Cancer? I'm going to say how it is. It could be a Libra. It could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Uh, we also got Gemini. We got uh, Leo. And we have, yeah, strong Leo energy. What I'm seeing is that there's, there's a situation here that your love life may be on hold because you have not made things right with someone, okay? The judge, the justice card is here because it's speaking about you feeling this person was so unfair to me. They did me wrong. They hurt me. And there may be a need for you to make things right or get clear as to why something didn't happen. There could be an energy of, you know, you wanting some kind of revenge or karmic justice for what this person did to you. Whatever that is, there's something about making things right because right now where you're standing right now is the justice 
in verse. They hurt me. They destroyed me. That I didn't deserve it. All I gave them was my love. And that is blocking happiness from coming in. And so I really feel like cancer right now, spirit wants you to focus on you, the hermit. Go within, spend time with yourself, connect with yourself, heal, recover, do the work, okay? Because you're not able to offer your full cup just yet, all right? The strength in verse, you're, you're not there yet, okay? So let's see what's coming in. Um, let's see what this energy of the Knight of Swords is. The lovers in reverse, the hangman in reverse with the four pentacles in reverse. This person is um, struggling on letting go. They're struggling on letting you go. Four pentacles is like, you know, they want to hold on to you, but then they're, they're very guarded as well. But the hangman is telling me that they're kind of energy. Um, four pentacles come out twice. The hangman is kind of like they're trying to assess things. What did I do wrong? What happened? Maybe I'll look at things from cancer's point of view. Maybe how did I show up to cancer? Maybe I was uh, wrong in this way. They're, they're actually doing a lot of thinking. Right, they're actually doing a lot of thinking and trying to uncover uh, where they went wrong, trying to look at a situation in, in in a different way. Because I do feel like this person is still tied to you; you're still tied to them, and that could be why they're wanting to come in. There's energy of wanting to come in to discuss something here with you regarding this connection. But I think that honestly, it's like there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> the temperance came out in reverse. Yeah, this is someone that maybe you stopped waiting on. I feel like there could be a need for this person to want to speak their truth, get clear, ace of swords. I want to tell you what really happened. I want to, I want to tell you what's on my mind. I'm going to see what this ace of swords about, but I feel like whoever this person is, cancer, there's the energy of no longer waiting for that. No longer waiting for, for clarity. Some of you guys, you got your answers through tarot. You, you're using tarot to, um, really, really find out why something didn't go as planned. Um, the, the energy of the connection Especially if you're dealing with someone who hasn't been communicated, right? They've, they've cut you off. You're using tarot to get clarity and, and heal, recover, let it go, right? And so there's something about you stopped waiting. And when you stop waiting, you're taking your energy back. You're saying, you know what, person? I don't need you. I don't need you to tell me what really happened. I got all the answers I need because it's coming from within, right? The hermit. A lot of the answers that you need, uh, cancer, are already within you. So let me get clarity on the Ace of Swords. What is this Ace of Swords? Just some kind of breakthrough. So, ooh, okay, Cancer, we have the Eight of Pentacles and verse the Seven of Wands and verse and the King of Wands and verse. This person wants to tell you that I didn't fight for you enough because, for one, <laughs> they're going to come up with some crazy uh, reason, okay? But for one, I'm going to tell you the truth. They're going to tell you why they didn't fight for you, and I think it's because some of you guys, they just weren't ready to commit, okay? There's the energy of um, I didn't have time to commit. I wasn't ready. Um, they were not ready to be that responsible person for you. We have the energy of someone being very reckless, King of Wands and verse they come in they leave they could have been dealing with many other people we have the energy of the king of wands and typically this is a very passionate person but they're not really ready for uh, something serious right they kind of waste your time they're foolish they will do things for themselves right they're very selfish very self-centered uh, maybe even make decisions uh, based off of their own sexual desires right because this is a very sexual person or energy so this person may want to tell you well why i couldn't be that person for you why i didn't fight hard enough for you why i didn't protect this connection why wasn't i fully invested and honestly there's no good reason it's really because they just want to do things the way they wanted to do with this king of wands so cancer do you really need the answers from this person no you don't and that's what the sun is about you becoming crystal clear which direction you have to go. You're becoming crystal clear that that person, mm -mm, you can't trust them. There's no happiness with them. Ten of cups in verse, the fool in verse. It would be foolish <laughs> to go back to a situation here where you weren't happy. Because you're getting very, very clear. There's healing taking place. And there's new paths being illuminated. And this path is not the past path, right? Okay, so let me see what's coming in. Um, the energy of this person is here, the King of Wands. Now they're coming out in the upright now, Cancer. So it's very possible this person's coming in, giving the impression that, oh, I changed, Cancer. I'm a different person now. But we do have the Ace of Swords in verse. I don't think this person is completely honest with you. But I almost feel like it doesn't matter because you have the sun, Okay, the sun trumps the ace of swords in reverse. You're seeing right past that bull. That oh, you're seeing right past their BS. Okay, let me uh <laughs> edit that. Okay, give me clarity on the two of cups with the king of wands. What is this about? 
This person's having a difficult time letting go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this. The judgment in reverse with the Nine of Cups. Someone here wants you to revisit a decision with them. They want you to go back and revise the decision. They want you to reconsider this decision that you made. Maybe you left. Maybe you decided to cut off ties with this person. Someone left. Someone left and said, see ya. I'm not dealing with this energy anymore. Bye. And if you made that decision because of the conflict, they're wanting you to revisit the decision because they see you as their wish fulfillment. And it's like this person is used to getting their way. You see that nine of cups? They're like pouting. I want my way. I want, I want things to go my way. This king of wands is used to getting their way. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or someone who's just very, very, very selfish, okay? It's my way, the highway. So part of the reason why they're coming back um, is for things to kind of, uh, to revisit a decision with you, okay? Revisit a decision you've made. But again, I don't know if you can trust this person, Cancer, okay? The Ace of Swords, what's this Ace of Swords about in reverse? Yeah. See, the thing is that, you know what, I see a situation here where your person is going to want to come back in your life. Five of Pentacles in verse, they feel left out in the cold. They feel abandoned. They feel confused as to why you're not talking to them anymore. But honestly, you know, you gave them plenty of time, Cancer. The temperance is here, right? You've been more than patient. And what I'm also seeing that you're now seeing this person's true colors. On a, in a matter of time, you've everything has been revealed to you. You see who this person truly is at their core. And you probably don't even like it, right? And so there's something about this person may come to you and tell you things, but I don't know if you can believe them. I don't know if you can trust what they're saying is true, okay? So the challenge for you guys is to become clear clear, and um, to, to see something the way it truly exists, okay? So Cancer, that is it. Um, let's get some astro advice cards for you guys. Let's see. I'm going to get three cards. This is one of my Oracle decks on my Etsy shop for those of you guys who are interested. It's a 90 card deck. It's very uh, big. <laughs> All right, Cancer. The first advice is use your spiritual gifts. Some of you guys, you're very intuitive. You are very uh, spiritual. You could be getting a lot of intuitive guidance, um, hits, you know, downloads from the spiritual realm, from your angels, your spirit guides. There could be um, messages coming in for you, okay? And so you're being asked to tap into your spirituality. We also have, let's see, stress will not serve you. Okay, so don't stress. There may be a situation you're stressing over, but mm -mm, don't don't do it. You're too too blessed to be stressed, right? And we have remove all uncertainty. Okay, so if there's something here that's uncertain, there's something about you becoming clear, being crystal clear, right? Um, no longer being in this place of confusion and not certain as to what you want, what you need. And we have be that force of change. So this is that chariot energy, right? Let me take that chariot out. I love this card. The, the illustrations are beautiful. Be that force of change. Move forward, okay? And don't let anyone stop you. Change is sometimes a good thing, Cancer. And with all these eclipses going on, right, uh, with, the, with the eclipse in Sagittarius, there's something here that you may be having to let go of, force, um, not force, but let go out of your life and move forward with full force, okay? So, Cancer, that is all I have for you guys. I told you it's going to be over 20 minutes, right? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy these long reads. Um, send you my love, my blessings, each and every one of you. The extended reading, um, What Is This Person Not Revealing, is up on Vimeo if you want to check it out. And that's all I have for you guys. Bye. <laughs>